Hi! In this video, we'll look at the interpretation and reiteration phase of the life cycle assessment framework. By this stage, you will have performed your goal and scope definition, your inventory modeling, and your impact assessment. Now we need to evaluate how robust and sound our entire life cycle assessment is. The interpretation phase is about ensuring that the conclusions we draw from the LCA are well supported and that we have minimized any potential inaccuracies. If necessary, we may need to reiterate the steps in the framework. Finally, we draw conclusions based on our overall assessment. There are two general ways in which we can evaluate the strength of our LCA. We can evaluate the procedures or procedural steps we use to create our LCA. We can also evaluate the numerical steps in our LCA. Evaluating the procedural steps tells us how complete and consistent our LCA is. Evaluating the numerical steps of our LCA tells us how robust our LCA is. Let's first take a closer look at the procedures of our LCA. When we look at procedural steps, we are interested in understanding how the following parts of our LCA influence our results. Our assumptions, our system boundaries, the structure of our inventory model, the combination of data sources we used, the impact assessment we chose. In other words, we focus on how our LCA was put together. We need to answer two important questions. Is our LCA consistent? Is our LCA complete? Okay, so the consistency check. In terms of being consistent, we want our inventory model and our choice of impact assessment method to support our goal and scope. Our inventory model and impact assessment should allow us to answer the question we defined in the goal and scope. We need to make sure that when comparing alternative products, our system boundaries are the same across the alternatives. From here, we should try to reduce inconsistency throughout our LCA, particularly with regard to our choices about the data and assumptions we used. Here are six questions you can ask yourself when performing a consistency check. Okay. Have you used data with different degrees of accuracy? Two, have you included data of varying resolutions? Three, have you used background data for unit processes that actually require foreground data? Four, have you used data from more than a decade ago together with data from within the last year? And finally, or no, not finally, fifth, have you included unit process data based on the state of an art system, like the latest technology, to represent an antiquated system, or vice versa? Six, and finally, have you used region-specific data to represent processes that are not actually occurring in those regions, but somewhere else? It might not be possible for our LCA to be completely consistent. Where, inconsistenc where inconsistencies are unavoidable, we need to explain why this is. We must make these inconsistencies explicit when presenting our results. We should also be able to explain how the inconsistencies have influenced our final result. Okay, now, the completeness check. Next, we need to check if our LCA is complete. At this step, it makes sense for an expert to first screen your results and determine if they are what should be expected. In terms of our in inventory model, we want to ensure that all the relevant unit processes have been included and that our model is as exhaustive as possible. We also need to make sure that economic flows that are cut off are followed to the system boundary. If there are emissions or resource extractions, extraction values that cannot be characterized because the necessary characteriza characterization factors are missing from the impact assessment method we chose, then this should be made explicit. In conclusion, Consistency and completeness need to be checked during the procedural evaluation. Next time, we'll talk about the numerical evaluation. See you next time.